Hello there and welcome to another episode of World of Tanks and Ungainly Titan. Before I forget I should mention that uh, over the last week or two my uh, internet connection has been rather unreliable. Now this has happened before and uh, no doubt will happen again. Now, I suspect it's to do with the extra traffic being generated by young people in the area uh, of school uh, overloading the already ancient infrastructure in the area. If that's the case, then it should improve uh, in the next week or so, and probably stay reasonable for the remainder of April and uh, most May. However, in the summer then it's going to get bad again. It's also not like um, changing to another ISP would make a significant difference, uh, unless I could change to one of the wireless operators. They're quite expensive, plus they're generally capped in terms of their um, data allowances and stuff like that. So. Any of the regular uh, DSL based uh, ISPs are all using the same infrastructure. Now, the government and my principal provider, AIR, have promised that they'll upgrade the system. Um, originally, it was supposed to be done by 2020, but now apparently, according to the latest information that I have, uh, it's supposed to be upgraded in 2018. Of course, that's still a year away. and. I don't know whether this will, uh, you know, last or what exactly the story is. I mean, you know, it's a promise. Uh, there's no um, guarantees behind it. In the meantime, I suppose we struggle on. So, however, if I cannot manage um, a reliable connection over the summer, I may not be able to upload uh, game footage five nights a week. Uh, I might have to revert back to my original uh, three nights a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, which I would prefer to prioritize. I have, however, it's been a year since I started um, recording footage for World of Tanks. And in that year I've close to a terabyte of footage. Um, now I have to organise that footage, it's scattered around multiple hard drives at the moment on a computer and on a network drive, that, uh, one of these MyBook, really ancient MyBook drive. But I bought a newer um, MyBook type drive and I'm in the process of transferring all the data to that and then I have to organise it. And I have to kind of catalogue it in some fashion, in that, um, which means basically I want to watch it again and figure out what's in it and what it is, what use I can make of it. I'm kicking around some ideas. One of which would be to do some kind of map discussion type video, where I take you through uh, the different maps, describe the key features, and how the game plays out in different possible scenarios. I have some ideas of how I want to present it, but I need to a figure out the what I have in terms of footage in the archive. I need to be able to sit catalog it so I can find stuff, uh, find relevant examples, uh, and then I also need to work out the technicalities of how I would present this kind of information. Um, just the technique of editing, the way I present the information, what would be done in terms of diagrams and pictures and animation, so on and so forth. So it's a bit off, uh, it's a bit of the way off, and um, the biggest thing at the moment, the biggest task is, first of all I want to put all the footage in the one spot, um, and then I want to organise it in some fashion, um, I'm going to initially probably do it by map, and then I'm going to have to watch it all, and um, create some kind of a file where I have notes, and tag the various um, bits. It's one of the things that I did at the beginning, because I had really no idea uh, how I would best go about doing um, video footage uh, was that I tended to just switch on the recording when I bought the capture card first and uh, when I started to sit down and play War of Tanks uh, in a session and I just recorded the whole session and if I got called away from the computer uh, to have to do something in the house um, then I think it was still recording, um, so quite frequently you'd have three hours, four hours of video, and there might be two hours of actual game time, the rest of it is just uh, the controller disconnected screen or whatever. Um, so I'm going to get rid of the rubbish. Um, the Sumo 2 is in, in, in poor enough quality because it had quality issues at the start that it took me a while to troubleshoot and figure out. So when I'm finished with my almost terabyte of stuff, I might not have a full terabyte of stuff, but I don't know exactly how much 
Um, I would finish up thrown away. I have been going through some of these videos and there's a lot less gets thrown away than I would have thought now. Um, so it's a, it's quite a bit of work and uh, there's quite a bit of time in it. So hopefully um, I'll be able to keep supplying you with uh, regular gameplay videos until I have um, worked out how I'm going to do the other stuff and the internet will kind of hold up uh, around here in a good condition. At the moment it's definitely congestion is the problem like uh, when I run speed tests if I run the speed test that comes in the um, network section of the Xbox uh, where it does pack and loss I, w I can frequently find that my download and upload speeds are as good as I would get locally. They're not great, I mean I have, I remember having several discussions on the forums where uh, people kind of ask about what people's um, internet upload, download, and ping times and whatever are. And I've had quite a few forums saying that they just wouldn't play all the tanks under the conditions that I'm playing them in. But I suppose I think that I'm not too bad. I mean, I've seen videos and jingles of the conditions Australians play under, and uh, challenging wouldn't even begin to describe it. However, getting back the uh, the the Xbox uh, speed test is quite good because it gives you packet loss and packet loss can be quite severe and most of the time when I have lately when I have uh, poor internet connection the problem seems to me to be packet loss which is drop packets on the on routers and switches at in the um, ISP's network whereas say uh, last year or the year before when I had um, speed difficulties it was actually really bad download speeds um, didn't seem to have anything to do with the packet loss so yeah it's a problem um, it's a problem it's going to be a problem for at least a year so in the meanwhile if uh, it gets severe enough uh, over a long enough period I won't, literally won't be able to keep going with um, five nights a week um, upload of World of Tanks game footage and the may have to find other things to do. I've already found other things to do in terms of playing other games while uh, I can't play World of Tanks. So um, anyway, I'll keep you informed. Thanks for putting up with my rambling and I'll catch you again soon.